So I'll show you how to remove the mirror from the sun visor. First, you need to put some plier tools from from the left center, and then from the top, and you see it's unclipped. And right here we have the switch, the micro switch, which is controls the sun visor light. And uh, I have the video when I was cleaning the contacts inside the switch, because before it wasn't providing enough current to allow the light to lit. And right now you can see, I need to push a little bit in vertical position works and to put it back first you need to align this clip because it should go under this top area so the basically so i never did that before so what i did so i put some praying tool and a little bit prayed from here then on the second hand so i was praying from here and it's popped off and i did the same thing with this side and uh, with this bottom corner and this bottom corner and it's came off pretty easy so you see that here, right here is broken it's not uh, stays uh, on that's why i'm trying to fix it so this is how it looks from outside and uh, right here we have the metal uh, retainer clip which is uh, holds it in open or closed position and as i showed you here is the closer look to the sun visor mirror open it right here i don't know if you can see on the video uh, there is a broken plastic from this side and uh, also the portion is broken right here uh, and uh, on the back we have the metal retaining spring and uh, because the plastic are broken it's not making a lot of tension and that's why the, my sun visor is not holding in the completely open position and as a result not pressing the button on this switch so basically what i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to remove these uh, clips they should came out pretty easy i think or maybe not okay, maybe i'll need to use some pliers but i'm not sure yep so this is how it looks so it's kind of have kind of teeth with which is biting the plastic okay it was the right one but i'm pretty sure they are the same and uh, this is the another one from side which is closer because i also want to repair this one because i also saw some cracks and as you can see right now it just it just playing and uh, i don't know if you can see on the video or not but right there there is a crack on here okay this small line if you can see and on this side there is a also cracked right here and that's why it's not uh, holding it and I'm going to be using some epoxy. I found the, the epoxy is really nice stuff when you um, 
gluing the plastic the, even it's kind of i think might be better than the gb weld uh, and so basically i'm going to do i'm going to mix the epoxy and uh, uh, apply it to this crack and we'll try to hold it with something but i really need to be uh, really careful not to put uh, the glue inside because uh, later i will not going to be able to put uh, inside the those springs uh, first i applied the epoxy and then uh, i just kind of used the small wire like like this this wire from the bread strap um, and uh, i just uh, dig inside the hole and basically scrub the extra glue from this hole because i decide i don't want to glue these pins because maybe later if i'll need to remove it i'll not gonna be able to do that space and also to put the more tension i put the this wire and kind of bend it around and uh, create the tension so as you can see uh, even some epoxy it pops from the crack i don't know if you can see or not that it pops from the crack here and also it pops all the way from the crack here so in that way i know for sure uh, it's gonna be glued and so there is some glue extra glue i don't need it so i'll just clean it with the rubbing alcohol yeah okay and uh, after about two days i let the epoxy resin gets completely dry right now it's really really hard to bend it so i would recommend to get it more time because even after 24 hours uh, it's still kind of soft and after about two days it becomes completely hard yeah and basically uh, I'll explain again what I did so I just mixed the epoxy and I put the epoxy inside the hole then I uh, took something to apply the pressure inside the hole to allow the uh, liquid epoxy go inside the crack and then after that uh, I've put some uh, epoxy just around here to uh, get it more thickness of the plastic and uh, later because we have these uh, pins because we have these pins the pins should go inside the hole and uh, for that i've removed the extra amount of the epoxy resin and basically uh, make some room for this uh, clip to fit okay today i'm going to install it in this hole and we'll see if i remove enough amount of the epoxy and uh, if it will allow me to insert the pin okay the next step so we need to attach the cover and so i'm basically glued it like that so i'm put this pin right here so here we have about 90 degrees then i press it down or may maybe not the 90 maybe 45 degrees and then i press it down right here you can see it's flat and i apply the, it right here and as you can see uh, so my sun visor is installed yep this is how it looks so and right now uh, i want to try to put this this clip and press it press it inside Remember, it has its teeth on it, and I'm, I'm pushing really hard, and we'll see if I'll, I'm going to be able to insert it. Okay, maybe I'll need some pliers, okay, but I don't really want to uh, put the extra force from the pliers. Okay. A 
is kind of going, but it's kind of hard. Maybe, maybe I'll put it on the kind of piece of wood and uh, try to insert it. Okay, so you see it goes there somehow, but I'm pretty sure it should go a little bit uh, more inside. So, and I'll try to apply some more pressure or if it will not help, I'll remove this uh, pin. I'll try to a little bit clean inside and make some room for the pin. So I put this one somehow, this is the maximum how close I could get it. You just kind of align it with the edge of some table and uh, try to apply pressure in this area and uh, kind of try to try to wiggle it inside applying the pressure okay so the, this is the maximum uh, how far i was able to insert it and uh, because I, to be honest with you i don't remember uh, how deep it was inside but even with this result even with this result I can tell you I have a really nice tension here I think this tension should be enough for the switch to be in open position and right now you can see how this retainer clip works so when you open it it's kind of uh, bending a little bit. So I see right, it's bending, and then it's going back. So it's bending and it's going back. So I'll probably, there is nothing I can do. I don't want to pull it back again because you see uh, at some point uh, my epoxy resin is um, get out the plastic inside. But anyway, it's good I put some extra amount of the resin around right now uh, this square is held by bigger area and uh, all force is going not only for this uh, plastic uh, it's also uh, spreading around this area the tension so I don't know why the engineers always do it the way it will break in the future so why they cannot uh, make this pieces uh, ticker and the answer is probably uh, because if you can sell it uh, if you can buy it on internet that tells us some some probably someone engineered it the way it will break at some point okay that's it so this is the finished product and I'm going to install it on the car Yeah, so really, really high tension. And uh, to put this mirror back, in the first you need to align this pin. It goes under this area, upper area. You just align the top, and then you press down the bottom. So it's kind of installed, but you need to press it harder until you'll hear the click that's it so right now it's installed as you can see it works and if you like this video please uh, hit the heart button